In the world of the rich and famous where extravagance knows no limits, Monaco, a tiny principality, is a haven for some of the world's billionaires. They are well known for their lifestyles and sophisticated preferences. Among their possessions are incredibly pricey yachts representing ultimate luxury and social status. Today we delve into an examination of the yachts owned by Monaco's billionaires, exploring the remarkable characteristics that make these vessels objects of envy worldwide. Ayalofa's Olivia O. Ayalofa, born in Israel in 1950, was raised in a complex socio-political environment. Despite the difficulties of a quickly changing environment throughout his early years, his natural business sense made way for him. He served in the Israeli Air Force from 1967 to 1973, after which he studied maritime law at the University of London. Ofer comes from a well-known family of seafarers with a long history in shipping. He carried on his father's legacy and increased it tenfold, catapulting himself into the top rank of the world's wealthiest people. Ofer's first venture into business was with Zodiac, the shipping firm owned by his family. Having been established in the 1970s, the company swiftly became a major player in the world of shipping, transforming the industry via cutting-edge methods and a dedication to quality. Ofer's keen business sense and forward-thinking tactics are responsible for Zodiac Maritime's prominence. Under his leadership, the business took advantage of new prospects while negotiating the convoluted international commerce and logistical systems. Ofer's foresight into market trends and willingness to take calculated risks helped Zodiac Maritime rise to the top of its field. The company's fleet of ships, which includes everything from container carriers to cargo ships, is an elegant synthesis of dependability, efficiency, and cutting-edge technology. Zodiac Maritime adjusted to changing market needs because Ofer focused on keeping a modern and diverse fleet, assuring optimal performance and client satisfaction. As the years passed, Ayal Ofer's interest expanded beyond shipping, allowing him to establish his banks in many locations. His investments include real estate, technology, and finance, among others. Notably, Ofer's strategic real estate ventures have contributed significantly to shaping the skylines of cities around the world. His innovative approach to urban development and ability to foresee emerging property markets have led to high returns on his investments. With a portfolio that spans a vast expanse of more than 10 million square feet of real estate, encompassing an impressive array of over 120 properties, and boasts a staggering total of more than 1,500 hotel rooms, one can say Ofer is a real estate investment guru. Eel Ofer's taste for luxury is apparent in his business endeavors and way of life. With 20.7 billion US dollars, his wealth Wealth is displayed in his lavish homes, dazzling yacht and collection of priceless artwork and antiques, which attest to his taste for the finer things in life. Ofer's opulent lifestyle shows his ability to indulge in the fruits of his labor and create a life that oozes sophistication and elegance. As a maritime enthusiast, the stunning Olivia O. Yacht is his proudly owned possession. Named after his daughter Olivia Ofer, this fantastic vessel embodies the pinnacle of marine elegance through the flawless synthesis of engineering marvels and plush comfort. The Olivia O. was painstakingly constructed with care to every last detail. The yacht was built by Ulstein Werft in Norway, measuring 88.5 meters in length and presenting a beautiful exterior design that embodies contemporary luxury. The yacht's outside spaces include large decks with panoramic views and serve as the ideal setting for lounging, enabling visitors to experience nature's beauty. The yacht contains a 10-meter swimming pool and a helipad. The yacht can hold 12 to 14 passengers and a crew of at least 24 members. Olivia Rowe's interior is a symphony of pricey materials materials, superb craftsmanship, and opulent design. With the interior designed by Drula's architecture, every area of the ship displays Isle Ofer's impeccable taste. Fueled by Rolls-Royce engines, the yacht gracefully maneuvers the ocean at a leisurely cruising speed of approximately 15 knots, with the capability to surge to a thrilling maximum speed of 19 knots. The yacht, a symbol of refined luxury, is appraised at an astonishing $200 million, with ongoing annual operating costs of around $20 million. James Ratcliffe's Hampshire II and Sherpa On October 18, 1952, James Ratcliffe was born in Failsworth, Lancashire. Ratcliffe's ascent to fame is an homage to his relentless resolve and aptitude for taking advantage of market factors. Ratcliffe got into the commercial world for the first time after earning his degree in chemical engineering. He began his career by working for firms like Esso and Courtaulds, where he he received significant industry insight, but his keen perception of market developments enabled him to see the petrochemical industry's untapped potential. 
Ratcliffe established INEOS, InSpec Ethylene Oxide and Specialities, a manufacturer of chemicals in 1998, and it went on to serve as a foundation for his fortune acquisition. Ratcliffe turned INEOS into one of the largest chemical companies in the world through clever acquisitions and an unwavering dedication to operational efficiency. He built a good reputation as a shrewd businessman by adopting a strategy of acquiring underperforming assets and improving their operations, which resulted in impressive growth and huge cost savings. His mid 2000s decision to grab the shale gas revolution's potential greatly aided Ratcliffe's climb. INEOS increased its presence in the energy industry and became a prominent player in shale gas production and its byproducts. Ratcliffe's aptitude for seeing and profiting from new trends exemplified his progressive mindset and added to his rising riches. Beyond his strategic contributions to the energy and petrochemical sectors, Ratcliffe made impactful investments in various industries. These encompassed trade, shipping, healthcare, clothing, automobiles, and more. Alongside its core presence in the chemical and oil and gas sectors, INEOS manages a diverse portfolio comprising 36 distinct business units. Ratcliffe adopted a lavish way of life with his accumulated wealth. His acquisition of prominent residences around the globe serves as an example of his preference for exclusivity and luxury. These houses, frequently found in prestigious locations, are outfitted with an array of opulent amenities and cutting-edge technology, as befits a billionaire of his rank. The billionaire's love of yachting emphasizes his expensive hobbies even more. Ratcliffe's super yachts, which feature opulent lodging and entertainment options, perfectly capture his desire for unrivaled leisure activities. He owns two yachts aptly named Hampshire II and Sherpa. The Hampshire II yacht, crafted in 2012 for owner Jim Ratcliffe, was a feedship creation, with its interior designed by Redmond Whiteley Dixon Design. Spanning 78.5 meters, it offers a plethora of amenities that cater to a family-oriented and adventure-filled yachting experience, embodying the essence of luxury and water-based enjoyment. Its name is a tribute to Hampshire, the largest county in southeast England renowned for its history and natural splendor, which encapsulates its identity. The Hampshire II's valuation stands at $150 million, accompanied by an annual operational outlay of approximately $15 million. Driven by powerful MTU engines, this vessel achieves an impressive top speed of 16 knots and a comfortable cruising pace of 12 knots, appealing to discerning yacht enthusiasts seeking remarkable performance. It has incredible features like a beach club, helicopter deck, and a convertible playing area, offering versatile recreational possibilities. The interior exudes timeless elegance with a sumptuous mahogany adorned interior. It was engineered for supreme comfort and luxury and it boasts of an upper deck bar and an underwater wine cellar allowing guests to marvel at oceanic beauty from beneath the surface. The yacht can house up to 14 guests in seven cabins and up to 23 crew members. The Sherpa yacht, a magnificent 73.6 meter super yacht, offers an opulent haven for up to 13 guests in its six generously appointed cabins, overseen by a capable crew of 22 onboard professionals. Crafted by Feedship in 2018 and recently treated to a refit in 2022, this vessel boasts a weight of 1802 tons and sails gracefully at 13 knots, surging to a top speed of 16 knots. Designed by Redmond Whiteley Dixon, much like Hampshire II, its valuation stands at an impressive $100 million, while its annual operational expenses amount to around $10 million. The yacht's interior includes underwater lights, a beach club, sun deck and jacuzzi, along with full air conditioning and Wi-Fi access. Equipped with at-anchor stabilizers, the Sherpa yacht ensures a smooth and secure voyage, reflecting Jim Ratcliffe's commitment to both luxury and safety on the open seas. Rubin Brothers Siren David Rubin was born in 1941, whereas Simon Rubin was born in 1944 in Mumbai, India. They lived in a multicultural setting during their formative years until relocating to London in the 1950s. David's venture into the scrap metal industry marked the beginning of his business career and established the groundwork for his subsequent efforts. Simon got his start in the carpet business, which he leveraged to raise capital for their real estate investment. Metal trading in the Russian metal market was how the Rubin brothers got their start in business. Their ability to spot new opportunities and their in-depth knowledge of market dynamics lay the groundwork for their success. The Rubin brothers switched their attention to real estate when the world economy changed, taking advantage of the 1980s and 1990s real estate boom. Together, they they joined the real estate market to take advantage of the opportunities the city's changing terrain offered. They made savvy strategic real estate investments that propelled them into the top tiers of the British commercial world. One of their most significant real estate endeavours was acquiring and developing prestigious properties in London, including the John Lewis Partnerships headquarters and the landmark Millbank Tower. 
These strategic investments demonstrated their ability to spot undervalued assets as well as their dedication to reviving important metropolitan areas. The Rubin brothers have broadened their investment portfolio by venturing into industries like infrastructure, technology and private equity. Their investments in energy projects, data centers and other vital infrastructure components showed how forward-thinking they are about leveraging new trends. The brothers' investments included projects across Europe and other regions of the world in addition to the UK. The Rubin brothers personify an irresistible blend of unmatched refinement, sophistication and affluence. Their mere existence serves as a living testament to the highest ranks of global luxury, an extravagant symphony performed with a graceful finesse that speaks volumes of their impeccable discernment and extravagance extraordinary triumphs. Every facet of the Rubin brothers' life, from the splendor of their abodes to the meticulously curated experiences, resonates with an aura of exclusivity and individuality. Their lavish mansions stand as magnificent tributes to architectural brilliance and artistic genius, meticulously conceived and elegantly adorned. The Rubin brothers' life journey is an unceasing narrative of exploration and indulgence, facilitated by their joint ownership of a luxurious yacht that allows them to traverse the seas in unparalleled comfort. Comfort. Given that they work together, it is unsurprising that they own the yacht jointly. The Siren, a yacht owned by the Rubin brothers, exudes an aura of luxury and marine splendor that is nothing short of breathtaking. This vessel, a masterpiece of nautical engineering and design, is a real testament to the Rubin brothers' refined taste and unwavering commitment to luxury. The Siren yacht is a product of the innovative German shipyard Nobiskrug, which was meticulously crafted in 2008 and is 73.5 meters long. Its interior is designed by New Cruise and it features six cabins, including a master suite, VIP stateroom, three double cabins and a twin cabin. An exceptional highlight is the master suite's fold-out balcony, offering privileged guests a captivating view of the ocean and sky. Siren is equipped to house a crew of 18 members, ensuring a worry-free journey for every guest. The vessel provides convenient amenities, such as an elevator, lift and Wi-Fi, while the Dex Jacuzzi sets the stage for enchanting evenings with champagne under the stars. Siren stands out with an impressive selection of entertainment and leisure options, making it the perfect choice for an engaging and sociable voyage. The elegantly modern interior, rejuvenated in 2013, seamlessly connects various indoor spaces with open decks. Guests will find a generously sized swimming pool, an adjacent bar, a lounge area, a sunbathing spot, satellite TV, telephones, and a well-appointed gym. Cinema facilities on both the bridge and sun decks, and a variety of water-focused equipment cater to water enthusiasts. She achieves a remarkable top speed of 18 knots with the might of two MTU engines. When taking it easy, she gracefully glides at a cruising speed of 14 knots. The market value for this beauty is $70 million, and her annual operating costs are roughly $7 million. Manfredi Lefebvre do Video Manfredi Lefebvre Do Video was born on April 30, 1953, in Italy, a nation rich in historical significance and cultural legacy. He has a passion for maritime exploration and an innate drive that transformed this passion into a global enterprise. His marine heritage rich ancestry served as the cornerstone on which he built his success. Manfredi Lefebvre Do Video set out on a journey that ultimately led him to become a driving force in the luxury cruise business with a strong eye for spotting opportunities and a passion for innovation. He set out on a mission to offer for unmatched experiences that combined elegance, adventure and discovery because he had a vision of revolutionizing travel. Manfredi Lefebvre de Video upgraded Silver Sea Cruises, a luxury cruise line that had previously been owned by his father, by making astute business decisions and rightly predicting trends. As a result, the company set new benchmarks for elegance, service and exploration. His unwavering pursuit of Perfection and profound comprehension of the needs of contemporary tourists drove Silver Sea Cruises to the top of the luxury cruise market. The motivation for Manfredi Lefebvre do Video accomplishments has been his commitment to building deep bonds between tourists and the places they visit. In addition to solidifying his status as a visionary leader, his capacity to craft immersive experiences that appeal to discriminating visitors has brightened the lives of countless people looking for unmatched travels. Manfredi Lefebvre do Video sold the majority shares of Silver Sea Cruises to Royal Caribbean Group in 2018. This strategic acquisition marked a significant development in the luxury cruise industry, 
allowing Silversea to benefit from Royal Caribbean's resources while maintaining its distinctive brand identity and commitment to luxury travel experiences. During Manfredi Lefebvre de Video's time, Silversea Cruises operated a fleet of elegant ships, each offering a unique cruising experience, Silver Muse. This ship, launched in 2017, set new standards for ultra-luxury cruising. With its all-sweet accommodations, diverse dining choices and personalized service, Silver Muse redefined opulent cruising. The ship could comfortably house 500 196 guests in 298 cabins, along with 411 crew members in 262 cabins. There were eight dining areas on board. Silver Spirit, known for its opulence and wide range of amenities, Silver Spirit was a flagship vessel in the Silver Sea fleet. Since its launch in 2009, this ship's 270 suites, six restaurants and a supper club showcased its beauty and elegance. Silver Whisper, an intimate and classic ship, Silver Whisper offered timeless elegance coupled with modern comforts. Its travel itineraries explored diverse destinations, underscoring Silver Sea's dedication to delivering immersive and enriching voyages. It shared similar amenities and spacing with Silver Shadow, both being crafted by the Mariotti shipyard in Genoa, Italy. Silver Shadow. As the sister ship to Silver Whisper, Silver Shadow embodied refined luxury. Its impeccable service, fine dining and onboard activities catered to discerning travellers seeking a top-tier cruise experience. Built in 2000, it could accommodate 382 passengers and 295 crew members, boasting over 190 beautiful suites of varying sizes. Silver Wind. Designed for intimate cruising, Silver Wind offered passengers a cosy atmosphere and personalised attention. Its well-designed itineraries allowed guests to explore off-the-beaten-path destinations with the capacity to accommodate 294 guests and 208 crew members. Silver Cloud, originally conceived as an ice-class expedition ship, Silver Cloud elegantly combined luxury with adventure. It underwent a transformation to cater to both polar and luxury cruises, showcasing Silver Sea's commitment to diverse travel experiences. Launched in 1994, it accommodated 296 guests and 222 crew members. Silver Explorer Functioning as an expedition vessel, Silver Explorer appealed to travelers seeking immersive journeys to remote and unique destinations. Its onboard experts and expedition staff enriched guests' understanding of the regions they explored. While launched in 1994, Silver Explorer Explorer underwent refurbishments in 2017, expanding its passenger capacity to 144 in 72 cabins. The cruise ships operated by Silver Sea Cruises under Manfredi Lefebvre d'Ovidio's guidance epitomized luxury travel. From classic elegance to adventurous exploration, these ships offered a range of experiences, all backed by impeccable service and a commitment to creating unforgettable memories for passengers. Tatiana Casiraghi's Pacha 3 The journey of Tatiana Casiraghi to wealth combines elements of tradition, enterprise, and a commitment to significantly impacting numerous facets of society. When Tatiana Santo Domingo was born in 1983, she inherited a tradition of social responsibility, cultural awareness, and a dedication to bringing about change that went beyond material success. Tatiana came from an incredibly wealthy family, giving her the foundation interests to forge her own career. Her fusion of Brazilian and Colombian ancestry broadened her perspective and helped her develop a young respect for diversity, the arts, and culture. The Santo Domingo's family has a long history in business and finance. Julio Mario Santo Domingo, her grandfather, gained his money by investing in various industries including beer and the media. Tatiana had a stable financial foundation thanks to her family, and this gave her access to chances and relationships that were helpful to her in her journey. Her wealth was aided by more than simply her ties to her family though. Tatiana's own astute decisions and business zeal have played a big role. She attended the American University of London to further her studies in economics and communication. She gained valuable knowledge from her education that she applied to her businesses. Tatiana's marriage to Andrea Casiraghi, a descendant of Princess Caroline of Monaco in 2013, served as a milestone in her ascent to affluence. Her prestige was raised by this union and it also gave her access to a network of powerful people. She also started her entrepreneurial journey at the same time, co-founding Muzungu Sisters with her close friend Dana Alicani. The company aspired to promote globally sourced, ethically produced goods that were also culturally diverse. Tatiana's participation in the 2016 merger of Anheuser-Busch InBev 
Rudev and Sab Miller, which was successful, was one of the turning points in her financial path. This transaction gave her family a windfall and improved her standing in the business community. Tatiana showed her dedication to both profit as well as a positive influence by investing in environmentally friendly projects and initiatives. Building on her interest in sustainable and ethical methods, she certainly spends her gems. She is a woman of style and grace. Her tie to European royalty and its attendant splendor was further cemented by her marriage to Andrea Casiraghi. Tatiana has a good sense of style and frequently appears in prominent fashion publications and attends prestigious events wearing clothes from well-known designers. Tatiana is also well known for her magnificent yacht Pacha 3, in which she routinely visits some of the most luxurious vacation spots on earth and is usually spotted with other socialites and celebrities. She hosted her pre-wedding party which was bohemian themed along with her friends on this yacht. Pacha 3, a yacht that was expertly designed and built, is a showcase for yacht engineering skills. The yacht, which stands at an astonishing 36.24 meters, is the result of careful construction. Pacha 3's adventure began when it set sail in 1936, showing a fusion of classic style and contemporary comforts that suited Tatiana's affluent preferences. Pacha 3's exceptional performance capabilities are what really make it appealing. Twin Caterpillar diesel engines give this ship a top speed of 13.5 knots and a cruising speed of 12.0 knots, demonstrating a harmonic balance between power and beauty. Pacha 3 promises a magical voyage on the open sea, whether it is cutting through the waves or lazily floating down the coast. Pacha 3's interior is a haven of splendor and sophistication. With space for up to nine lucky passengers, the boat guarantees that every journey will be comfortable and exclusive. The lavish master suite offers panoramic vistas and a haven of tranquility. Pacha 3's outer decks provide a smooth transition. The perfect surroundings for relaxing moments under the sun and stars are provided by sun-drenched decks, a welcoming jacuzzi and outdoor dining places. The yacht's expert crew of seven guarantees that every detail of the excursion is handled with extreme care. Dmitry Rybolovlev's Anna. Dmitry Rybolovlev rose to prominence through working in a variety of sectors. He was born on November 22, 1966 in Perm, Russia, and pursued a career in medicine before turning to business. His professional history has been characterized by a lot of accomplishments. His role in the privatization of state-owned assets during the crucial early 1990s, transition of Russia's economy from a planned system to a market-oriented one marked Rybolovlev's first venture into the field of wealth accumulation. Rybolovlev captured significant assets and established himself as a major leader in new sectors during this time, a time famed for its economic volatility. The establishment of the Ural Kali Group was a critical step in Rybolovlev's ascent. Production of potash fertilizer, a product with great demand in world agriculture, was the main focus of this business enterprise. Rybolovlev transformed Ural Kali into a significant participant in the fertilizer fertilizer sector by utilizing his knowledge of market dynamics and his strategic views. His business knowledge went beyond fertilizers. Rybolovlev expanded his reach and diversified his holdings by entering the banking, energy and telecommunications sectors. These calculated actions improved his financial situation and demonstrated his capacity to adjust to the complexity of many industries. Rybolovlev's entry into the world of football was perhaps one of the most notable milestones in his ascent to wealth. He bought a majority ownership in the French football team as Monaco in 2011. He put a lot of money into the club through this investment, showing his penchant for calculated risks by reviving its performance on both the national and international platforms. His participation in sports not only increased his profile, but also demonstrated his diversified investment philosophy. As a prominent Russian entrepreneur and investor, Rybolovlev's financial prowess has afforded him a life marked by luxurious indulgence and high-profile extravagance. Rybolovlev's real estate portfolio, which reads like a cat of the most premium residences in the world has the most remarkable features. Notably, he has garnered attention for buying homes in some of the most sought-after places. These purchases demonstrate his ability to acquire some of the most desirable houses, which also indicates his preference for the better things in life. Rybolovlev enjoys the finer things in life even when he travels. He is well-renowned for using yachts and private planes to travel the world with the utmost luxury and privacy. Dmitry Rybolovlev's yacht, Anna, is a stunning example example of maritime opulence and architectural skill. With its flawless fusion of elegance, cutting-edge engineering and opulent comfort, this 110-meter superyacht has caught the attention of both luxury enthusiasts and maritime connoisseurs. Anna is a monument to the fusion of style and nautical prowess. The yacht emits a sense of strength and grace from its sturdy steel hull to its aluminum superstructure, creating the ideal atmosphere for an unforgettable nautical experience. Devoked naval architects, who are famous for their expertise in naval design had a hand
hand in its creation, further establishing the yacht's heritage. Anna is the largest ship ever constructed by Feedship, a shipyard known for its superior craftsmanship. Beyond its amazing size, Anna is powered by twin Caterpillar engines, allowing her to sail through wide waters at a top speed of 18 knots while gliding smoothly. However, the yacht's appeal is not simply in its speed but also in the comfort it provides throughout lengthy voyages, smoothly cruising at 14 knots. With a range of more than 4,500 nautical miles, Anna is the epitome of elegance and functionality, delivering journeys to remember. The interior of Anna was created by Michael Leach and Brian J. McCarthy, and it is a haven of luxury and sophistication. This seamless blending of skills has produced an atmosphere that radiates grandeur at every step. The boat can accommodate up to 16 guests in opulent comfort, with a dedicated 32-person crew on board to see to every need. This yachting experience is unmatched and emphasizes luxury and relaxation. Anna is, at its core, Dmitry Rybolovlev's loving homage to his daughter Anna Rybolovlev. The yacht, which has been estimated to be worth $250 million, represents both luxury and family love. However, maintaining such a ship is expensive, with annual operating expenditures, topping $25 million. With her fascinating history and unrivaled elegance, this amazing ship shines on the open seas as a symbol of luxury and a tribute to the heights that money and devotion may reach. Stefano Pessina Stefano Pessina was born in Pescara, Italy on June 4, 1941. Pessina showed early on that he had an aptitude for business. He pursued a degree in nuclear engineering but soon changed his mind and became more interested in drugs. In 1977, Pessina's journey took a significant turn as he acquired the struggling pharmaceutical wholesaler Alianza Pharmaceutica, subsequently leveraging his keen business acumen and penchant for identifying expansion opportunities to transform the company. In 1986, the alliance formed with private equity firm Firm KKR, Kohlberg, Kravis, Roberts & Company, was nothing short of brilliance. Collaboratively, the purchase of the British pharmacy chain Alliance Unichem initiated a series of acquisitions that culminated in the establishment of a formidable pharmaceutical and healthcare powerhouse. His well-planned strategy included buying businesses and streamlining supply chains, improving operational efficiency and reducing expenses. With this strategy, the business was able to take advantage of economies of scale and improve its market competitiveness. The icing on the cake was when Pessina orchestrated the merger of Alliance Boots and the national pharmacy chain Walgreens in 2006. With the help of this landmark deal, one of the largest pharmacies and healthcare retailers was born. The world of pharmaceutical retail was significantly shaped by Pessina's creative thinking and deal-making skills. Pessina is known to lead a remarkably private life. He is adept at keeping his personal affairs shielded from the public eye, allowing only glimpses into his carefully curated world. However, he recently garnered attention due to the presence of his mysterious mysterious yacht moored off the coast of Sardinia. The enigmatic allure of this vessel has piqued the curiosity of many, drawing them into the realm of speculation and intrigue. The yacht itself is rumored to be a luxurious haven, a floating palace of sorts, designed to cater to the utmost comforts and desires of its owner and guests. Though details about the yacht's specifics may be shrouded in secrecy, it's not uncommon for individuals of Pessina's stature to own or charter high-end yachts for both personal use and corporate networking. Sardinia, with its Crystal clear waters and stunning vistas serves as an ideal destination for the world's elite to escape the hustle and bustle of their daily lives. It's no wonder that Pessina, like many other affluent individuals, would choose this Mediterranean paradise as a backdrop for his yacht. Imagine the yacht. With regards to the design, the yacht could boast a sleek and modern exterior, characterized by clean lines and sophisticated curves. Its size might rival those owned by other prominent billionaires, such as Roman Abramovich's Eclipse or Jeff Bezos's Flying Fox suggesting an immense vessel that commands attention. Internally, the yacht might feature an array of luxurious amenities, such as spacious suites, a spa, a fully equipped gym, and possibly even a cinema room for entertainment. The interior decor could blend timeless elegance with contemporary elements, reflecting Pessina's refined taste and appreciation for art and culture. To stand out among other billionaire yachts, Pessina's vessel might incorporate cutting-edge technologies that optimize comfort and efficiency. Imagine state-of-the-art environmental systems, advanced navigation tools, and even sustainable energy solutions, aligning with Pessina's business ethos and concerns about environmental sustainability. In terms of crew and service, Pessina's yacht could prioritize top-notch hospitality, aiming to provide an unparalleled experience for himself and his guests. The crew might consist of highly trained professionals skilled in 
in catering to the needs of the world's elite, ensuring that every moment on board is seamless and exceptional. Ultimately, Pasina's mystery yacht could represent a convergence of his professional success, personal preferences, and the desire to create a vessel that not only reflects his stature, but also serves as a floating symbol of his accomplishments. However, as with all speculative scenarios, the true nature of the yacht's design and features remains tantalizingly veiled, leaving us to ponder its grandeur and uniqueness. Stelios Haji Ioannou Stelios Haji Ioannou was born in Athens, Greece on February 14, 1967. His father is billionaire shipping tycoon Lucas Haji Ioannou. Trudos Shipping Company Limited, a family-run shipping company, gave him early exposure to the business world. Stelios decided to pursue higher study at the prestigious London School of Economics, LSE, due to his inherent curiosity and passion for information. He majored in economics and earned his degree in 1987 with knowledge of how markets and economies operate. Stelios launched EasyJet in 1995 with the help of his tenacity and vision. But the journey was not simple. Legacy carriers controlled the aviation sector, and the concept of cheap basic travel was regarded with mistrust. However, Stelios persisted and showed unflinching faith in his idea. The introduction of EasyJet signaled a fundamental change in the airline business. The airline's success was largely due to Stelios's commercial savvy and marketing skills. The appealing tagline, making flying as affordable as a pair of jeans, and the eye-catching orange branding appealed to tourists seeking low-cost travel options. Passengers only paid for what they required thanks to the no-frills strategy, which appealed to thrifty travelers. As EasyJet gained popularity, Stelios grew his empire and established the Easy brand outside of the aviation industry. He made investments in industries like lodging and even internet cafes. Even if not all of his endeavors were as successful as EasyJet, they all demonstrated his entrepreneurism and openness to trying new things. Because of the airline's groundbreaking approach to air travel, which changed the sector, and because of its popularity, which resulted in substantial profits for Stelios, the lifestyle of grandeur and extravagance was made possible for him. His lavish lifestyle reflects his preference for homes, cars, and activities. He is frequently seen staying in elegant residences with gorgeous architecture, breathtaking vistas, and all the facilities one would expect from a person of his position. He has been linked to premium estates. His yacht, Fly Me to the Moon, is the definition of luxury and magnificence. This vessel is more than simply a means of getting across the seas. It's a floating palace that says a lot about Stelios's affluent tastes and love of better things in life. Similar to the spirit of the song it is named after, the name itself evokes the attraction of adventure, exploration and refinement. It draws notice with its length, which is roughly 49 meters, as well as its svelte and exquisite form. The excellent craftsmanship for which Bilgin Yachts is renowned was on display during the construction of this marvel of maritime engineering. The exterior of the yacht, created by H2 Yacht Design, expertly combines contemporary design with classic beauty. The interior, which was also designed by H2 Yacht Design, is elegant and sophisticated. The yacht's interior rooms feature a seamless fusion of comfort, design and functionality thanks to great attention to detail. Its magnificence is demonstrated by the fact that it can host up to 12 people. The seven-person crew make sure that visitors are looked after with the utmost care and hospitality. Two-man diesel engines give the yacht its power, allowing it to reach a top speed of 14 knots. Its 13 miles per hour cruising speed offers a relaxed pace for taking in the open ocean. Another gem in Stelios Haji Yoanu's crown of maritime luxury is Strangers in the Night. This yacht, which was once known as Bushido, was painstakingly constructed at Bodyat in Turkey, displaying the expertise and commitment of the shipyard's employees. Strangers in the Night is a 37-meter-long stunning ship that draws notice on the wide seas. The yacht's architecture, created by Studio Scano, exhibits a seamless integration of form and function. It demonstrates the group's aptitude for striking a balance between aesthetic appeal and usefulness. With four cabins that can accommodate up to eight people, Strangers in the Night provides a feeling of intimacy and exclusivity. Four staff members ensure that each guest receives individualized service that meets their needs. We have discovered that they are floating representations of their owner's success, flair, and the limitless opportunities that come with unrestricted resources as we explored this captivating world of nautical extravagance. These yachts are a true testament to the allure of Monaco's billionaire lifestyle. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click any card on your screen for more content like this, and I will meet you there.